So here we are at um, 5820 Chevy Chase Parkway. You can see the street is pretty quiet. We've got a beautiful home. Um, I just did a walk through myself and I think you're gonna love it. This is the outside. There's been a bunch of um, new things added. The bathrooms are all totally upgraded, which you'll like. Step inside a very fun and bright red front door. You've got stairs off to the left, or to the right. To our left is the um, formal living room with a working fireplace. You can see huge windows and tons of natural light. We've got no lights on in here. And gorgeous hardwood floors. Get you another angle of the room. You can see just how big the space is. Head through here, you can see a huge closet. Shelving above, tons of room for the winter coats, boots, that kind of thing. To our left here is the half bath on the first floor, which is a great bonus in houses this age. Not many of them have that half bath. See, it's totally renovated. Coming through here, you've got an extra bonus room. Um, could be used as a sunroom, an extra living room, an office. You've got access to the backyard. Um, I think this would be a great play space. Built-in kind of desk area. Again, these huge windows and sliding glass doors are going to be great for the natural light. We've got, again, no lights on in here. Pop out to the backyard. Great slate patio here, fenced backyard with a really great tool shed, room for lawn mower, that kind of thing. And I believe the, um, the owner's parents are here actually, and I believe they said that they were having a landscaper come by, so I think that's going to be included in your price. You can notice here this glass room is actually a greenhouse that they created. Really fun, good arts and crafts studio maybe for the kids. We'll head back inside and take a look at the other half of the house. And it is central air. Coming back through the living room. Hook a left around the stairs and enter the formal dining room here on our right. You've got a really great working fireplace in here too. Oh, maybe not this one. I'm not sure. Great centerpiece for the room regardless. <laughs> Huge windows again. Tons of light. And then a nice big closet in here. And do these stairs go down to the basement? Yes, to the basement, which is tiny. Tiny? Okay. Good for storage. Yes. So stepping into the kitchen, you can see they've redone this quite recently. Awesome tile work here. Nice granite or a brand. So a year and a half old appliances. Really cool custom cabinetry and that tile work again. You can see you've got the first exit here to the backyard that we saw. The greenhouse to the right. Second exit over here with the backyard beyond. Full size dishwasher. Again, great windows. Tons of cabinetry space. And this room is actually big enough. Um, you could put in a table and chairs or one of those massive rolling chop blocks for an island. You've got a ton of space to work with. Get you another angle. how huge it is. We've got both recessed lighting and outside lighting. So now we'll head upstairs. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Railings on both sides which will be great for the little ones. Again a great window here. <laughs> We're gonna come around take a look at the master bedroom here on the left. 
huge space, enough room for our king size bed, dresser, bedside tables, all of that. Again, great big windows. You've actually got two decent sized closets in here, another fireplace, which is always great. And an ensuite bath. This bath is brand new as well. Huge, actually. Some new tile work here in the bath. Brand new fixtures. It's got a very high-end feel in here. You can tell how much natural light it's getting. There are no lights on in here. Sweeping through, you can get a view of one of the closets. They actually go off to both sides beyond the door frame. It's the rest of the room. Straight across, we have the first bedroom. You can see here the stairs over on the right. So it's just straight across. Second bedroom, massive for a second bedroom in a house of this size. Again, these huge windows. Another brand new window back there. I'm sure that covering will come down. Closet here, not so big, but you've got built-in shelving and definitely enough room for a dresser or two. Um, both kids could go in here. There's also a third bedroom we'll head back to now. Great little archway up here. Here on the right, we've got the second floor, second full bath. Again, everything's brand new subway tile, brand new fixtures. Heading back out behind us, we have master bedroom to the right, uh, stairs in front and second bedroom to the left. Coming again forward, we've got a huge laundry room, which is awesome when you're doing tons of laundry with kids. Lots of storage, linens, extra blankets, that kind of thing. Brand new washer and dryer. And then coming through, you have the third bedroom, also good as kind of a, another playroom. Some funky with long window here. Ceiling fan, and again, these huge windows that go all the way behind that curtain. Get you another view of the space. This actually has uh, a window unit because it's a uh, in addition, so no central air in here, but the window unit's gonna keep it plenty cool. We'll take a look out the window onto the backyard. It's really an, just an amazing house. 